somebody with mental illness and or an addiction walked into your faith community now, how would they be greeted at the door? I can tell you that in the city of Philadelphia, we have taken using the strength of the faith community to heart. By partnering with the faith community in Philadelphia, what we've been able to do is develop a web of trust between those of us that provide behavioral health services and the community where people are most likely to connect, their faith community. We had to move and transition and transform from a traditional medical model of service delivery to an integrated, holistic, recovery-oriented system of care. You do not have to be a mental health expert, uh, but you can learn the basic signs and symptoms of mental illness. Most people, when they're having difficulty, they're going to go to their rabbi, they're going to go to their imam, they're going to go to their pastor. And that's who they trust and that's who they go to seek help. Understanding that the resources are out there and just connect with the people who have them. And that's where that partnership between the faith community and behavioral health are important.